Okay, hello YouTube, I've just gotten back from work and I can't really remember what tutorial this is. I think this is number 15 or 16 actually. Um, this one is about creating snow or any kind of um, weather effect. So, um, but I'm going to do rain because it's simple. But um, I'll do another one on snow later because there is a different method for that. But um, I just need to build a little outside area. So if you bear with me, I will give you some music to listen to. See if that's the right volume. There we go. Right, let's start on this one. I awake to find no peace of mind. I said, How do you live? As a fugitive down here where I cannot see so clear, I said, What do I know? Show me the right way to go. And the spies came out of the water, she feeling so bad. Spies hide out in every corner She can't touch them, no Cause they're all Okay, that is my basic room, and uh, the next thing you're going to do is uh, set the skybox. So you are going to head over to tools and then options. No, that's wrong. Sorry, that is map and then map properties. And then you're going to go to the skybox texture name, and you're going to change this to a dark skybox such as sky underscore borealis one. Oh, sorry, zero one. Borealis. There we go. Apply that. Cancel. And then the next thing you're going to need to do <coughs> sorry, is um, get the trigger texture. Like that. Oh. Sorry, just uh, itching my nose. And then um, make this. This is where your rain is going to be falling. So I'm going to cover this in the whole of the playable area. So now you have the whole block in the center. And then you're going to press Ctrl and T and tie that trigger block to a funk underscore precipitation. 
apply that and you're going to set the precipitation type to rain snow is a bit terrible and snowfall is a bit terrible um, you can use emv underscore embers but um, you can set the color of the rain and the density but, um, I'm going to have that at 50 and you don't need a name for it at all so that will start on oh, one thing <coughs> There we go, and that is actually it, I'm afraid. But, um, I'm just going to place a light underscore environment up there, as always. And then just uh, point this down, pick a yellow colour, make it fairly dark though, and then. Um, that is it. Oh, and I'm just going to give this guy an item underscore suit. There we go. Have that neat. There we go, and I'm just going to compile this thing uh, ready to show you in game. So I'm just going to say this is rain. Okay. There we go, and I'll see you in game. Okay, so here we are in game, and I'm just going to load up my map, which is map says rain. And you have rain falling. And it looks fine. But, um, yeah, that's basically how to do rain. You do have other ones like the EM, well, in the EMV underscore pre precipitation, you do have a ones like uh, snow, heavy snow and ember but um, for snow I tend to use emv underscore embers because the snow doesn't really look like snow in my opinion but um, yeah that's it really, that's how to do rain it's not hard is it? but um, you can change the density to be a lot more heavier rainfall and that will be, but um, this is tutorial number 15 or 16 I cannot remember and I'll see you in number 16 or 17 goodbye